Hello, friends, and welcome back to Pothole Productions. I'm your host, Nate Slater, and this is another exciting episode of Slab Attic Saturdays. So, as you all know, I got a box, a nice little gift, and from CGC. As you can tell, it's so big, it's busting at the seams, because, you know, CGC did their um, patented tape job, or at least what I'm saying they patented. Anyway, I don't know anything about what's in this box other than uh, we're going to have a good time. At least, I hope so. Uh, I took my information off the box to, for everybody's safety. So without further ado, let's pray the 9, 8, 9, 9, and 10 gods. And let's get into it. All right, so got our knife. I mean, this is going to be really easy to open because look, it's just like about the first, like a pregnant woman, ready to go. It's not really, but you know. Uh, cut into that, put the knife away. <clears throat> I bet you guys can't guess what the first thing I'm going to say is. Okay, I gave you enough time. We got bubble wrap. Ugh. And we got an empty box. All right, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Bubble, bubble, bubble wrap. I don't need that. We got a rubber band. Rubber band. I think it's, yeah. Oh, well, I'm not going to get it. We'll start with whatever this book is. This top. This top. Here we go. Got this, and we're going to throw the bag over there because it's fun, and we have exactly what I thought this was going to get. And, um, yeah, so <clears throat> now that I see the book that's in front of me, I know exactly what this is. This is actually a, a test. I just sent a whole bunch, well, not a whole bunch, but I sent a few books that were very low grade without getting them pressed. Just to, it, it, people would say it's a waste of money, in fact. People have told me it's a waste of money, but I did it anyway, because don't tell me no, I'll do it. I'll do it. Do it. Anyway, so I just did like a small test box, sent some books in that are very low grade just to see what I would get, and uh, pretty much got what I uh, thought I was going to get. I got a, I sent in a, this book here, Tales of Suspense 73. Um, yeah, it's a point five. It's very high grade. Don't you agree? Anyway, uh, this is Black Knight and Sleeper Appearance. And, yeah. There you go. Not much more to be said than it's a point five. Tales of Suspense 73. I did it just to see what would happen because... You gotta live a little. So next, we get to see what other... Stupidity I did. Or is it stupid? Tell me down below. Was it was I dumb for doing this? And if you say I was, don't worry. I'll live. I can take it. I'm a man. Next we have Fantastic Four 46. And can you guess? A point five. Which this is the first full appearance of Black Bolt in humans and Dragon or well, Dragon, Dragon Man appearance <clears throat> in a point five off white pages, and then the other one was off white to white pages. So, huh, funny. So here we go. First appearance of Black Bolt on the cover too. And you can see the back is ripped there. So point five. We got two point fives. Except this is probably in this grade probably worth what I graded it for. Probably not what I paid for, but what I graded it for at least. This one is probably worth less than what it cost me to get it graded for. So, like I said, I did this box as kind of learning experience. These books I'm probably not going to sell just because there's no point. So what's the point of doing this video? Education, my friends. Welcome to school. Nate Slater, 101. Anyway, here we go. Next one we have... Is it a point five? We'll find out. We have a 
No, it's not. We have a 3.0 Submariner number three. This is uh, Triton and Plant Man appearance off white pages. So, yeah, we got a 3.0. Did not get it pressed either, people, because what's the point? There you go. You do, 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 do. This one I'll probably end up selling. The thing is with the point fives, if I hold on to them, maybe someday they'll be worth money. Maybe they'll we'll get up to fifty bucks, a hundred bucks. At least the Fantastic Four one will probably get up to a hundred at some point. I'm sure because it was at one time. I think. Anyway, next we have this feels kind of big. We have <clears throat> oh okay. Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number Four in a three O off white to white pages. It is first MCG rectangular logo, Human Torch, Wizard, and Mysterio appearance. I think this is like the third appearance of Mysterio. Um, Mar Mar okay, MCG is Marvel Comics Group logo. <clears throat> Actually. I'm not getting rid of this. This is for the PC. A buddy of mine gifted this to me for my birthday one year. His name is Corey. Thank you, Corey. And, um, yeah, I, I wanted to keep it, but it was also low grade. Um, I guess the people who he got this from, which it might have been his father. I'm not 100% 100% sure on that. But <clears throat> um, it had, like, 1.0 written on the back of the bag and board that it was in and it said 1.5 so it looked like two different people did their grading of it and i guess they were off because it's a 3.0 so yeah that one's for the pc once again thank you Corey, and thank your father who likes comics and gifted it to you and now gifted it to me thank you i appreciate it <clears throat> last but not least we have This is a first, probably will be the last, but who knows. But I did this, like I said, this whole thing was done on purpose. So <clears throat> I originally bought this book and Tales of Spent 73 together in a lot. I think I spent a total of $23 on them both. And I was under the, I was told that this book was Daredevil issue two. Because what was written on the bag said Daredevil Issue 2, which after I got it and inspected it from who I bought it from, I knew it wasn't Daredevil Issue 2. It was actually Daredevil Annual Number 1. And was I upset? No, I wasn't upset because it has no cover. Um, that's why it has no grade. The first no grade that I ever got. But you get a nice little picture of Daredevil and you get Electro written across it. And this says uh, Electro, Gladiator, Stilt Man, Leapfrog, and Matador appearance. Stan Lee and Gene uh, Colon appearance in backup story, eight pinups. So, yeah, it has no front cover. It's coverless. Um, it does have a back cover, as you can see. It is kind of sad that it's a no grade, but my guess is if this did have the front cover, it would probably be a 0.5 to a 1. Um, but yeah, this is probably not going to be worth anything, at least within the next 5 to 10 years. If anything, if I had to go a long game, 15, 20 years, maybe 50 to 100 bucks. It is Daredevil Annual 1, but... Is Daredevil. He's not as popular as like Spider Man, Hulk, you know, X Men. So it is what it is. Like I said, this was a learning experience just because I wanted to see without getting these pressed or cleaned and in the terrible condition that they were in, just to see what I would get. And as you can tell, it's a mixed bag. And we'll go through it again. We got Daredevil Annual 1 and no grade. We have. Tales of Suspense 73 and a 
Uh, we will go to Fantastic Four 46 and a 0.5. We have Submariner number three, Submariner, and a 3 0. Last but not least for the PC, we have Amazing Spider Man Annual number four. Well, that about does it, my friends. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Slab Attic Saturdays. If you haven't already, I urge you guys to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if I made the right decision. And even if I didn't make the right decision, you know, at least you learned something. I learned something. Probably won't do this again unless it's like an amazing fantasy 15. That's okay. Anyway, N8 underscore plot hole pro. Check it out. That's our eBay. Anything you buy from there will come back to us, and we just use that money to send more books off to CGC so we can have more, uh, hopefully more entertaining unboxings in this one. But like I said, education. Our kids need it. And that's all the time we have for today. So if you guys don't know already, I'm going to remind you one last time. I'm Nate Slater, and I'll catch you in the void.